Greetings, one and all. This is Micah from WPMU Dev and host of the journalistic podcast series, Hello WP. We can all agree that WordPress is a fantastic platform for building websites. Some may even say it's the best. And in turn, it's also a killer lead generator. But after you've created a site with a fancy form to win over your visitors' info, what do you do with all that data? Do you bring on an intern to copy and paste it into a spreadsheet? Do you personally move each submission to a task in Asana? This is where Zapier comes in. Zapier auto-magically categorizes the data captured by your site and shares it with any of the over 1,200 other applications they support. Say for example your design agency has a form on its website inviting people to reach out to set up a meeting. If Zapier is involved, any time someone fills out that form, you could get pinged on Slack, or it could make a new card on your Trello board, or create a new lead in Salesforce, or update a row in a Google spreadsheet, or literally tons of other stuff. Because, like I said, Zapier stands as the middle person between your site and over 1,200 other apps. So on that note, in this quick tut, which is short for tutorial, I'll show you how to quickly and freely integrate Zapier with our game-changing form, poll, and quiz plugin, Forminator. All right, so first we need a form. For this video, I've created a simple contact form. Now from Forminator's dashboard, click the settings gear next to the form you want to integrate with Zapier, hit edit, and select integrations from the menu on the left. When the page loads, click the plus sign next to Zapier. Now go over to your Zapier account and click the big orange Make a Zap button at the top. You can't miss it. In the search bar, type in Webhooks by Zapier and click it. You'll then be asked to choose between two options, Retrieve Pull or Catch Hook. Select Catch Hook and hit Save and Continue. Now you'll be given a unique webhook URL. Copy this URL and paste it into Forminator's webhook URL box. Then go back to Zapier and click OK, I did this. Now you need to choose an action you want this webhook to trigger. You'll do this by following the next step in Zapier or by clicking action forward slash search. For this tutorial, I want the action to trigger a new lead in Salesforce. So I'll search for Salesforce and select create lead. Save and continue, log into your Salesforce account, and continue again. Now you'll match the Salesforce fields with the fields you've created in Forminator and move on to the final step, testing your fresh zap. If everything is working, turn on the zap, and boom, you're ready to go. Now go get zap happy and start experimenting with WordPress and Zapier.